I wonder what you what you're doing to kind of keep your days filled during this lockdown. Lots of things you miss, but for a lot of people, they're taking up new things instead. It might be reading those books that have been on your shelves since Christmas is past. I'm threatening to take up my paintbrushes, actually. I haven't painted for ages, and I keep saying I want to do it, and I haven't done it yet. But actually, this might inspire you to get creative. A highly esteemed art gallery in Deal is encouraging you to submit your work if you're an artist, anything you've done during this current lockdown in a special exhibition. The Linden Hall Studio, you might have heard of it, is calling for lockdown artwork from artists made in their own home studios, front rooms, kitchens, gardens, you name it, uh, for, and they'll be sent out to their extensive mailing list. Miles Corley is the gallery director. He joins me now. Miles, how are you coping in lockdown? Hi, morning, Anna. How's it going? Yeah, really good, thank you. How's about you? It's nice to be up at the crack of dawn. I didn't know things started at this time. <laughs> this isn't early. Try three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's when uh, yeah. my alarm goes off. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That woman who dunks in the bar, the cold bath, I think that sounds like a mad way to start the day. <laughs> <laughs> Each to their own, I suppose. Each to their own. And, but a lot of people are getting creative at the moment, aren't they? So tell me about this yeah. idea about lockdown art. Well, we started this uh, when obviously this all kind of people had to stay at home. Um, we started this thing on our mailing list and through our channels to send out um, reflection emails looking back on uh, what we've done and what we've shown over the last few years. And uh, then I was doing my social distance visit to my father and he was painting in his garden. And I thought, well, there must be this must be a good time that people are at home being able to tune into their um, creativity. Yeah. So I thought, well, why don't we use this opportunity to um, try and promote what people are doing at home? So if you're painting or, or printmaking or, or drawing, potting in your home or your home studios or your kitchen tables, then we're asking people to um, send in what they're doing uh, if you've made it during a um, lockdown um, period from home. And we will try and promote it and, and send it out to as many people as, as we can. Wow. Do you need to be like a professional artist to do this or can anyone get involved? Not at all. I mean, if, if you look back over art history, over the periods of, of pandemics and when bad things have happened um, to the world, it's often been a, a time where um, creatives and artists have really managed to get in touch with what they want to say and, and um, be inspired to create things. So anyone, if you're, if you're, if you're at home and you've, you've got something to say and you want to try and... Um, channel your thoughts into something other than watching the endless coronavirus updates yeah. um please do something and if you email it into us with the title and the media and how big it is in a nice picture um we will try and uh, promote it as much as we can and, and send it out to people um so they can see what a, a positive news story which is coming out yeah. of this time so i think we could possibly do with a little bit more positivity at the moment mm, actually do you know what even my cat's got creative during lockdown um, it's, quite, it, it's quite no it's quite amazing what she does she is a bit of an artist and um she what she realized was that the, the loo roll was very much you know a symbol of the current situation given the stockpiling and everything else so she took a loo roll and she attacked it um and so what she's got is like the you know the bits of the loo roll coming out and i think i think it's a really good example of self-expression and, and the, ang the like anger that. yeah yeah i might say yeah, that i in. mean yeah we had uh primarily said just humans okay apply, but i'm oh. happy to extend that to felines as well she could be she could pioneer she could pioneer because not like there was a few years ago where she got a paintbrush because i was painting and somehow she managed to swirl it around so we've got this beautiful ellipse on the kitchen floor thanks to the cat so she's she's quite well, phenomenal. yeah i think you should extend the rules for her <laughs> an incredible cat i think we could do something with her. <laughs> i think so too so tell us the email address where do i send mini moon's works so, of art into um just either on our social media you know linden hall studio or info at linden hall studio uk, and uh, we'd really really like to to see see what's happening and, and then through the event of any sales of 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 art we will be making a donation to nhs and um okay. coronavirus funds um so it's a so it's a good way to be positive about art at the moment and don't worry or don't think that you have to be you know a great artist we're not looking for the next tracy emin we're, we're just uh, interested in what real people are doing at home uh, in a in a difficult Period. In that case, I'll bring you my matey arms pub sign that I painted <laughs> for that online perfect. pubs as well. Yeah, exactly. I'll give that to you. Um, so give us the email address one more time before you go. Uh, so it's info at lindenhallstudio.co.uk. Absolutely perfect. Listen, come and talk to us again soon, Miles. That's great. That's Miles Corley there from the Lindenhall Studio in Deal. So go on, get your paintbrush out. Don't just leave it to my cat.
<laughs> get creative in these lockdown times. There must be something you can do. I never thought I'd miss you.